Tonight we are celebrating Valentine's Day, but not with a girl, but with the Hoover A3060 doing a pink Valentine's Day wash. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD, because you are watching Florence Ballard A3060, the channel made in loving memory of the original Supreme Florence Ballard and Hoover's first 1100 RPM washing machine, the A3060 Electronic 1100. Hey guys, welcome to a late night wash. It is 2320, well 2321 now actually, on Wednesday the 14th of February 2018, or Valentine's Day. Of course, spending my day like any other day, being single, you know I've got no intention of starting a relationship or anything. Not bothered about that now after what happened last year. Don't want to have another go at it. So, this is the girl that I appreciate today, called Florence of course, or Flo. Hoover A3060. I'm doing what I've wanted to do for quite a few quite a few years I wanted to do this. A Valentine's Day special wash, basically pink clothes in the machine. Um, so I'm gonna get loading her up. Um, I'll stick my lime scale tablet. I have got Calgon gel, but I keep that just I keep for use in the meter and these in the Hoover. That way then I don't run out so easily. So I've just got a mixture of uh, pink shirt from today and then a few these fuchsia pink towels they are literally just for washing I don't actually use them this was part of my old, my previous bedding set that was on top of the Creed dryer and that was for the record player <laughs> see all pinks today and although and whilst there is no pink detergent I thought I'd have Tesco Loves baby surgeon. This is actually really good, it makes everything really soft. Um, see, I've got Calgon gel there. It's the first time using this in the Hoover, actually, I think. No, I just saw I used it for my bedding. So, just put about that much in. Don't need that much, to be honest. Now, I've learned the trick with this is not to put the conditioner in right now because it ends up siphoning it during the second rinse or so. So what I do before the machine goes into the proper final rinse, stop the machine, put the conditioner in. I never do a wash without conditioner. We are going to be using the standard Program D 60 degrees Celsius fast coloreds. So I've primed the hot water, but of course the machine fills with hot and cold anyway. Press the cotton setting though, it doesn't really matter. And then we should start. So the neighbours are going to be happy. Oh, neighbours love me. Okay, enjoy. I love spending Valentine's Day like this. I don't know if I'll get the filming light actually out. Um, I don't think I really need to. Tesco are on offer at the moment for the Tesco Loves Baby. It's £2.50 as opposed to £3.50. So I might stock up on it. Because it's really good for the towels it is. It keeps everything soft. It's got a really nostalgic smell. I don't know why. It's not how I remember it being used. It smells like chlorine. Okay. You fill. Just a second. Oh, okay. Looks like that's been when I've opened the door. It's all leakage now and that'll, fill, that'll top up there. Yeah. I don't ever really recall the 9530 doing a... No. Top up. Oh, it did do it once with the uh, woolens. And guys, you're going to have to excuse it if when, it, when the machine spins, you are going to hear the motor bearing screeching a bit. And as well as that, you might get the shock absorbers rattling a little bit. Because obviously the machine's hardly ever received any use in its time. So, especially here, she's exposed to the cold all the time. So, I can't particularly help it if she screeches. Something's missing there, I'll leave over. See, every time I do a wash, I have to remember how all my detergents and whatnot go in. I might do a detergent collection video, maybe
You know, I've mentioned it before. I still love, I still love hearing the sounds which he makes. I wonder if the water will turn pink at any point. Okay. Probably start heating now. Yeah, wash a second. So we're currently heating to 60. thinking about this machine, um, unlike the hot point, the 9530, I can't actually tell when this machine's heating up, because with the hot point we'd know because it would start doing the, the machine would advance and then it would do the shorter tumbles. This machine I can only tell by just feeding the door glass when the machine's heating up, because I can just about hear the heating element, I mean obviously when it's a boil wash. like the little band of suds we get down there at the bottom of the seal. I did say I was not going to use the light, but once we switch it off, we we get oh, I like this getting a little cosy with the she looks really nice in the light. Got the heating on everything. Might be my work uniform be dry. Better go and Dilution rinse now. Sorry about that. That's the quickest 60 degree wash ever I've known. And some Coca Cola. Naughty drinking it all this time. Yeah. I've got a feeling we're going to get some very unbalanced spins. I had something I was going to mention in this video and I can't remember what now. Oh yes, um, when, let's say 25th of February, because uh, Mum's going to be working away on the course, um, oh, she's going to be away for a bit. I'm planning to try and get the hot point and the hoover plumbed in together by the means of a Y-piece connector to the hot fill valve. That way then the hot point can also have the hot fill valve going. And we may, just may be able to get a wash race going. So I might start some wash races between them. But I've got to see about the plumbing arrangements because I've got to know about the drainage and whatnot. I mean the A36 will say where she is. Um, and then after I've done that for about a week maybe, We'll put the meeler back in and the hot point comes in and the hoover gets a rest. Mm. Maybe for that month we have the hot point and hoover going together. But I will try and plumb the meeler in on this side and just try and connect it to the tap. It would be good if we could have all three machines going, but I can't promise that. Because I don't know how much power these sockets are going to be able to take. Because you're going to have the hot point plugged in down below. No, the hot point I think I have to refit the wiring on. I think it's a problem with the wire that did that, not the... Oh. This is the delicate tumbles, yeah. Drain. 
lovely pump. <coughs> I think we're going to get some. Yeah. It does remind me of a refrigerator compressor. That's like what what I say it sounds like. It's a nice atmosphere. Like so we are first rates, and I love how she tumbles. <coughs> Weirdly, only does it for this rinse, but wow, the motor's got this really nice hum to it. Check on my shirt to see if that's drawing. Jesus Christ, and he fell down the stairs there. Right. Oh, I can smell the ozone from that. There we go, guys. First intermediate spin. Oh, no, that is unbalanced. That's really unbalanced, actually. Oh, no, we're going to get a jump.
I'm scared. I'm actually scared what's going to happen. I might have to run over a hold machine now. I think we're fine now. We won't get a sunslot, guys, not with this. Valentine's Day dance. I keep saying I'm not going to record it from. I mean, we're not getting the district drain in though. Oh, bloody hell. Greg! <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed the machine starts to slow and speeds up again. Keep dancing. If that does the final spin like that, we're like, God, oh, it's going to be so loud. That is so, that is like, really bad. I'm thinking the shock absorber is going to start screeching, screeching in a second. I'm having a hard time focusing. That is so unbalanced, that is. But thank God it is level because I can. Second rinse. I literally thought that like, that was going to be a very violent spin now, I thought. Well, not violent, but I thought it was going to... The thing is, I can't have it jump off. Um, if the machine jumps off that little bit of fabric that's on underneath that foot there, it's literally going to start rocking and walking all over the place, so like, I've got to make sure it doesn't do that. I literally go, you, you obviously didn't see it, but I actually, when the machine went to spin, I actually ran to the machine. I actually was going to grab it because I thought it was going to go. <laughs> it definitely moves, a, it definitely walks a lot more than the hot one did. That's more fun about it, because it shakes more as well. That's the new characteristics. Let's see how clear this rinse water is. Oh my god, that is a lot. I love the bang of the solid on it. Just right wash action that is. I 
do love, that has just got like, <clears throat> I do just love that. I know it really is really good watch action at the start. And it's, as I say, it's not too brisk or anything, it's just right. Second intermediate spin, second and final intermediate spin actually. Oh god, I know that sound of a hoover motor. Yeah, that's the unbalanced, that's the unbalanced sound. Uh, no, a bit of trouble focusing that. What is the IOS setting? Trying to get the image stabilised. So, guys, I'm trying to. I'm worried.
<laughs> oh, fire rinse, better put the conditioner in. So, because the machine obviously siphons it in um, prematurely during the cycle, why did I not keep everything out just for now? I'll show you what I do. So I'll put it in now. Oh, better not drop that. This is amazing uh, conditioner. solenoid bang. I love the way it shuts off. Final spin. What's going to happen? Oh, hang on, hang on. I might have to stop that. No, it's fine. Fine. Of course, guys, full final spin.
bear, the taper bearings on these machines run, run a little bit loose. That's a 500 half in the I do like this idea of this uh, of this little tumble though. It's nice and pink in that. She doesn't whine as much as the other humans. Well, not whine, but you can't hear it as loud as like some. spin. She's going to walk. Oh, that was really quick in spin there. Not too bad, but that's still going to make a racket.
also vibrating badly. Gosh, you got the shakes tonight. such a racket when I hit the level on that. That is bad though, look. I'm we'll waiting for Mum to come outside the tempo. She's up at the moment, but... I do love the cider at the end. Oh, yeah, I see it tumbles there. Which is young. Oh, I just got a message from Mum on Facebook. Brandon, it's mid gone midnight. You shouldn't have that machine on. Oh. Go, Jake, you can. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not as the neighbours are actually going to hear it. No, I didn't realise. Didn't realise this machine was actually that loud. 
Yeah, but I need to film this video. There was no way I could do a Valentine's video tomorrow. That's why I wanted to come home. Uh, I just I just need new my clothes for tomorrow. It's not that loud. Whoa, oh, alright. I did not actually realise that the machine's that loud. Oh god. Okay guys, well the machine's finished now. God, I just got a good telling off on mum then on Messenger about that. She said don't use the machine while I'm awake. Wow, okay, that's all come up quite dry. Did we get anything in the drawer? No, it always siphons it out. So, it's always what I do with this machine afterwards, is I just... If it's gone a bit slow, it's because we're in low lighting. Okay guys, so, thank you very, very much for watching that. I hope you really enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, don't think the neighbours did though. <laughs> um, I hope you've all had a wonderful Valentine's Day, or those who are still watching this and it's still as Valentine's Day where you are, I hope you're having an amazing day too. Of course, I'm not celebrating it. I'm not celebrating with my washing machines. So, yes, we can look forward to the hot point probably be coming there soon. And anyway, guys, uh, I don't know what, we'll see what else we got lost and found from the vaults now. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow. And remember, Hoover, who better? Yeah.